So I'm making a scarecrow girl and I named her Scary Girl. Yeah, it was horrible. So I'm just drawing her now. It was very relaxing. I had just gotten out of a shower and I just had my morning classes too. It felt really good just to stop and draw for a minute or two without worrying about anything. Well, I was just a bit worried of how I would draw with my right hand. I mean, I'm not really good at it. I mean, with it, I don't know. I don't know why this girl came into my mind. Like, I don't know why I drew her. And it's not like it's Halloween or something. Although I love Halloween. I was going to make her eye orange to go with the orange policy, but I thought that a green would really make her eye pop more and I didn't want it to be only orange. Like the drawing, I didn't want it to be all orange. And I throw a little blue after to it in her clothes. I struggle a bit with her skin tone. I always do have problems with, with skin tone. I never get them right first time. Although it's an easy fix with digital work. And for her clothes, I thought this kinda indie outfit. Confession, I'm not really good with outfits, to be honest. Though I really wish I, 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 I were. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I do love me some fashion, and I learned a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race about fashion. But I usually give my drawings basic clothes, because my imagination just can't even. I really liked her body shape, so I didn't want to cover it up with the cloth. So I just decided to make it transparent. Which is one thing that I just love. I am absolutely obsessed with transparent things. They are really mesmerizing, I find. I think that's really I think that's why I really like some some of Carol's outfits from Steven Universe. I added some texture to her skin too to give it a fabric look. Like a big oogie boogie from the nightmare before Christmas. I was kind of sad I forgot to add the stitches on her non-existent eye from the sketch, but oh well. I'm pretty happy with the results regardless. I never realized I wrote with my left hand until I was like 10 or something, and I have no idea of how I came to the real realization of it. There are like two people in my class that are left-handed too, and I don't know if it's just me, but I get kind of happy when I find out some YouTuber that I watch is also left-handed. And I feel like left-handed people have a secret bond. I don't know. I mean, not for real, but maybe, maybe it's you. Who knows? Anyway, stopping with my stupid ass conspiracy theory, I'm now starting with the right-handed drawing. And oh lord, it was indeed a shit show. It didn't just look ugly as fuck, but it was super uncomfortable, especially because I was wearing a bracelet on my right hand, and it was pretty annoying. I took it off. But it was still very uncomfortable to draw with my right hand. For me, drawing this tablet is very hard, especially when trying to do a good line art. It's hard to get stable with it. It's because you're drawing on surface, but you're not looking at it directly, directly at, at it. So like it confuses them, it confuses your mind. And I have been drawing digital, digitally for two and a half years, so I eventually got better at controlling the lines. 
and drawing my my right hand felt like I was back at square, square one. And it honestly, at the end, it looked like something I would do when I just started to do the digital drawing. It felt good in a way to see how far I've come. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm particular, particularly exceptionally good at drawing still, but compared to the drawings I have made in the past and how much more smoothly everything goes now, I am indeed happy. Though I still have a long way ahead of me, and the truth is, I always will have. It will never be completely complete. Because if you were to be complete, then what's next? We always have something more to do. And not just like chores or work, but good experiences. Sometimes not bad or good, but just experiences. It's like an anime character that completes their goal. So what next? The anime just ends, but our goals never end. Therefore, our anime will never end until we die. And I mean, I'm not really that into anime, to be honest. I mean, I do like me some anime, but I don't really like, I don't really take the time to watch many of them. But my absolute favorite is Full Match Alchemist. I love it. It's so perfect. Like, literally, it's so perfect. But oh well. So this is the final drawing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I forgot to add her lipstick, but I just draw it after the final shot on the final. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I forgot to add her lipstick, but I just draw it after on the final shot. And this is a comparison of the two together. Um, what you guys think? What you guys think? What you guys? What you guys think? Oh my god, that was so hard. 